Okay, um, so we said this is a temp and evaporative cooler, that's the vacuum chamber. Uh, here's the vacuum pump I've been using. Well, I, actually the vacuum pump I've been using is over here. And it's the Harbor Freight one. I don't remember what it is, 80 bucks or something. I think I got $20 off. So maybe $60 or $70. Um, <clears throat> but this one you can rent, you can rent them from AutoZone, maybe some other uh, auto places. And you just have to, hopefully it'll work. I just have to take it back and you get your money back. It's part of their loan, loan a tool program. So I've been, I was wanting to make sure this pump over, or pump over here wasn't going bad. I think it is kind of going bad a little bit. I don't think it's pulling as deep a vacuum as it used to be. And I'm basing that on the fact that right here is where it exhausts some oil, mist, and stuff, and it, and water vapor if it has if you're evacuating something with water. And I uh, have been seeing more oil mist coming out, and so then even at the highest vacuum I can get. So I think it's not working as well. This one, I'm not sure it's a used one, right? But they loan it out to people, so I'm not sure it pulls that great a vacuum either. It's supposed to be 100 microns. I don't have a good gauge to gauge if it's low enough. Supposedly, they're pretty expensive, so I haven't. There might be a way to build one. I can put some links to the places I have gone as more of this information, you know, just people online, whatever. Doesn't mean it's accurate, who knows, but anyway. Um, and then here I have a uh, my refrigerator, sort of. It's a an evacuated tube. I got. I'll give you the link to this. This is actually kind of useful for cooking things. I, I might put another video on about that, but it's a little bit bigger than the smaller ones you can buy. I uh, I should maybe know this information better, but it. It cost me 70 bucks, but it's about 120 bucks now from the cheapest place I can find. And I built a little stand here for it, just so I can keep it upright better. Um, anyway, you know, I'm using a refrigerator because you know, evacuated vacuum tubes keep in the heat, keep in the cold, keep out the heat. Don't transfer heat. Heating this thing around it so the sunlight doesn't get to it and accidentally heat it up. Anyway, I said I'm doing a test right now. I have the, the thermometer in here. Uh, just a wireless thermometer. I got from Walmart, whatever. Uh, and it's 55 degrees right now. I started at 66. This is not going to be a good test. The best test I've had so far is I started at 72 and it went to 42 degrees Fahrenheit in about four hours and then in the mornings another eight hours or seven hours it was 38 and it had a little bit of ice in the vacuum. Now I should show you the thing I'm actually using as a vacuum chamber for the water that's evaporating. 